Now I'd like to introduce some wonderful young guy who I just met, and you know, you can tell, you just can go right to El Corazón, you know? And this guy is a great actor. His name is Jose Yankee. He has over a decade of experience as a professional actor and devoted humanitarian, which earned him a doctorate, honorary doctorate of fine arts from California State University, San Marcos in May of 2011. He co-created the East Los Angeles International Youth Film Festival, currently in its third year, where teen filmmakers have a positive venue for self-expression and are able to showcase their talent at major Hollywood studios and their communities. Many of you must remember him from the Academy Award-winning movie Traffic, opposite Benicio del Torre. He'll also be seen in the 20th Century Fox upcoming international release, Miss Bala, produced by Gail Garcia, Bernal, and Diego Luna. This film premiered at the 2011 Cannes Festival, and it's Mexico's official selection for the 2012 Oscar competition for the best foreign film. Can we give it up for Jose Yanke, please? Thank you, everybody. Wow, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's um, an honor to be here. Uh, it was a trip, you called me a young man, thank you. <laughs> um, this, this what, what Border Angels represents is something that I am behind 100%. I, um, I'm also honored to be here to, to hand over the award to someone who is Josefina Lopez, who is such an inspiration, who is an amazing role model. I work with a lot of teenagers in East LA and also at Casa Ogarcion Orphanage in Tijuana. And uh, you are a role model. Josefina Lopez, to, of all, to youth, all ages, a male and female. And you've seen her, you, you know, she's an amazing producer, director, writer, actress, true artist. And it's an honor for me to say that I know you, and I know that we will be collaborating one day soon and working together, it'll be my honor. Um, just using the word honor is not even enough for me. Um, Thank you very much, and yes, everyone, please uh, welcome up here to the stage the recipient to the Spirit Award, Josefina Lopez. I have gotten many awards, but this is probably the one that means the most to me. Because, um, you know, when I was a little girl, um, I could feel other people's feelings so much that I felt too much. And I remember feeling like I was so weird because I could feel other people's feelings to the point where I would start crying. I could feel anybody's feelings and, and I got really scared because I said, that's not normal. And uh, for many years I felt really weird, like what a weirdo, you know? And, and now uh, I recognize that what a gift that is because when I see people who say things like, oh, anyone who crosses the desert illegally should die in the desert. It breaks my heart because I think, wow, I got so much empathy. I got a big corazón and that person has a tiny one, a little corazón. And I had to build compassion in order to, to be with this, in order to be an activist because sometimes you just can't understand how someone can't feel somebody else's pain, how someone can't see that no matter what laws you make, you must feed your family, you must feed yourself, and that there's a higher law that you must listen to, you, that your corazón is your compass, and no matter what they say, you must listen to that corazón. So I feel very lucky, so getting this award tells me that, that I was born with this gift. So thank you, Enrique, because, you know, like, <laughs> I had, I had the wonderful opportunity of participating in Marcha Migrante, and if you haven't already, you should, because I got to hang out with Enrique for five days. No, 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 it was, it was wonderful. It was wonderful because Enrique is one of the funniest persons I've ever met. One of the, really, and I think I'm really funny, but like, I gotta give it to you, he's funny. And, and it really taught me that, you know, I give a lot and sometimes I get tired and sometimes I go, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop giving for now, I'm a little exhausted. And then when I watch Enrique, I'm always reminded that if you let God work through you, that you're not, 
using your own energy. You're asking God to work through you, that you are just a vehicle for light and love to come through you. So this is actually a gift to me. So thank you so much for reminding me constantly that just to let God work through me. Um, anyway, um, you know, I'm also very lucky that I have an incredible husband because, you know, I, I thought I should have been a nun because I really, like, I'm, I'm fight for so many causes that I go, you know, I should have just not had kids because it's sometimes so hard when you really want to make a difference. And then you also have children and you also have a husband and that's like, I'm, I'm glad you're single, Mandika, because it's tough. It's tough to constantly do, to want to do so much and yet know that you have other commitments too. And so I have an extraordinary husband who's also a revolutionary person who really has, is my prince, who, may, who has made a lot of my dreams come true. So I'm very lucky. But um, two more things that I want to say is um, I was so inspired by Marcha Mirante. We stopped at one of the churches and we were shown photos of the people they fight in the desert. And for me, when I saw all the pictures of people who turned to dust, who were left alone in the desert, who turned to dust, I said, no matter who you are, if you have any kind of humanity in you, if you see this photo, you can't possibly think that anyone deserves this to happen to them. So I was so moved by, by these images that I decided to write a play to protest SB 1070. And uh, we were very lucky because I, I really believe that, you know, I wrote this play in four days, so I know I didn't write it. I know that something spoke through me, and it's not, I'm not bragging at all, because I knew that the story had already been written, and that something just wanted someone to work through, and in four days, I wrote this play. And we presented it, we sold out, we got in the LA Times, and, and I, really, I realized that, <sighs> excuse me, um, that there are things that must be said, and if we have the courage to really Stand on the side of love, right? Because the simplest thing is, you know, in life, there's only fear or love. We think life is complicated, but it's not. Every single second, you can choose fear or love. Every single second, everything that comes at you, it's always fear or love. You can choose to stand on the side of love. And when you do that, miracles can happen. And I think that was written because I, I, I have taken a stand to be on the side of love. Even when life is getting really scary, you stand on the side of love and you can fight evil. So I wrote this play that worked through me and it's called Detain in the Desert. And it's had two productions so far. I really hope uh, there's gonna be a third production. I really hope that it's done all over America. Um, I've published the play and I've donated copies to Border Angels. Please purchase the copy, not because I wrote it, but because I want the money to go to Border Angels. And I also want you to read it because I think when I finished writing it, I didn't know who wrote it. I really was like, I don't know, I, I don't know why. And then several weeks after the play was presented, I got what it was about. I really got how profound the story is. And I really got what detained, to be detained in the desert really means. And, and Dika, thank you for being an inspiration. I don't want to ramble on because I can be here all night talking about how amazing this organization and how important it is that you support this. Anyway, so I'm going to stop here. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you. We're going to give Josefina a very special recognition. It's a cross that was done by Pam Calori. Pam is here. She's one of the artists and the co-chair of the dinner. These beautiful crosses were done by Pam, presented by Yolanda Martinez and by Jose Yenke. And we're really uh, uh, very honored to have you with us tonight and your husband. And uh, thank you for all that you do. I'm glad that you didn't become a nun because I, I believe that becoming a nun is habit forming. So I think, so I think it's, uh, I'm glad that you're doing what you're doing. So muchas gracias y que Dios te bendiga. I also would like to invite you uh, to visit the website. Uh, I wrote a poem dedicated to the border angels called An Angel at the Border. And a few of the lines go, I carry crosses in the desert. I carry crosses in my heart for those who are gone but not forgotten. So I invite you to come check out the website and, and read the poem. Gracias. Muchas gracias, Jose, Josefina, Yolanda.